Poot. Speak to me. <laughs> I must have a virus. Oh, oh Poot. Do not worry. I'll help you. Uh, I hope. Is Wizardora back yet? No, I wish she'd hurry. Is Wizardora there? No, she's not back yet. Well, if she's not back soon, I'm going to start worrying about my tomatoes. I'm already worrying about Poot. And Nigel. And my trifle. Ah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hiya, Stan. Ah. <coughs> Hello, and good morning, Pippa. Stan, are you all right? May I help you? Mm. Want to tell me what's going on? Well, I'm practising being nice to my customers. But you're nice just as you are. Yes, but I want to be nicer. Well, good luck. Oh, this one looks like a book. Yeah. Ah, all right. I've been expecting this. Uh, this is the one... At last. Mm, <laughs> it is a book. Yeah. What's it about? How to be nice to your customers. Mm. Oh, hello, you lot. Have you ever carried a lot of books from the library? Aren't they heavy? That's because they're filled with information. And stories. <laughs> yes, Nigel. Well, the book I want is full of information about how to cook a trifle. Now, may I please have it, Wizardora? Yes, Hangul, don't be in such a hurry. Right, trifle's made easy. I certainly hope so. Here, Phoebe. Ah, caring for a sick computer. Oh, thank you, Wizardora. Put, help is on the way. Very old fish, here's your book of great racing stories. Oh, oh thank you, Wizardora. Yeah, have you got her? Yes, Tatty, I've got your Growing Bigger Tomatoes oh. book. Thank you. Wait till you see the size of my tomatoes now. <laughs> now, I can read my Bottling Potions book. <laughs> Wizardora, what about our book? Oh, yes, sorry, I nearly forgot you draw people. <laughs> Tricky tricks and jokey jokes. I'm not sure you should have this. <laughs> oh, please, Wizardora. We only want to read it. Yes, well, just make sure that's all you do. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom went the first racing car. Whiz went the second. Oh, it's so exciting. Read it again. Invisible doorbell ringer. Invisible? Oh, how can we see it if it's invisible? It's not really invisible, you noodle brain. It's a trick. Oh, joy. I just love cookbooks. This is going to be the best trifle ever. <sighs> I wish I'd read these instructions properly. Now I've mixed the potion all wrong. I'm just going to have to go all the way to Stan's and get some more ingredients. What a terrible mix-up. <laughs> What? Stir once to the left and uh, twice to the right. Clap your hands with all your might. Well, this is a strange recipe. Ah, so far, so bad. Yeah, I mean, good. Hmm. Now, water the tomato plants. Mm -hmm. Point finger at plant. And say, boobity woobity zow. Boobity woobity zow. Well, that's what it says in the book, Filbert, so it must be true. Here goes. Boobity woobity zow. customer in the eye. Hmm. Right. Touch your nose, waggle your ear, say hello with a great big cheer. 
Well, that seems a strange instruction. Oh, well, here goes. <coughs> Hello. Ah, oh, seems easy enough. Well, if that's what the good book says, I'll just... Oh, no. Hello, Stan. <laughs> Are you all right, Stan? <laughs> oh, I've been turned into a clown. <laughs> oh. No, I'm not going to answer this stupid door again. There's never anybody here. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, ah, back, back. Tippity tap. Give a wave, enter, and shift, and then press save. <laughs> 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 Busily bee, busily boo, or touch your heads and yell, achoo! <laughs> hey? Um, that's what the book says here, so let's do it. Mm. Mm. Oh, I just don't understand it. All I did was read, zoom, zoom, zickety zoom, send him zipping round the room. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Phoebe. Oh, the place has gone mad. Where's a door to Phoebe, I think this may be my fault. I think I accidentally made my wand do a naughty mix-up spell. Look, can you hold your receiver out? <laughs> Wizardy growl and wizardy purr put things back to the way they were. Ah, ah, oh, I'm me again. <laughs> Wore himself out at last. Where'd it go? I'll be <laughs> oh, the excitement must have cured him. I'm sorry I let the mix-up spell loose, everyone, but I bought us all some pizza, and then we can read our books. And uh, this time, read yours more carefully before you use it, Wizardora. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Hi, I'm Charlie Checks, and I'm a rabbit, right? Right. I just crunch carrots, right? Right. Wrong. Now I crunch these as well. New Checks from Weedabix. Extremely crunchy cages of frosted corn. In a word, checks a land. <laughs> New frosted and crunchy nut checks. Checks a land or what? Think of the taste which opens up the goodness of the country and captures the memory of how mature cheese used to taste. Cathedral City, the full flavor of mature cheddar cheese. And it's packed in many sizes. Cathedral City. For those who know their cheddar. Shake a leg, lad. Today's the day. You're not going anywhere till you touch your hair and wash your face. Come on, stop. Never gonna make it. I suppose this must be 
Have you got the tickets? I thought you had them. They're in our bag. That's the turning. We missed it. Get a great lad. We're almost there. Made it. Well done, Dad. Someone you know. Can't wait to go. Disneyland Paris. Ready, Brick. It's ready for anything. Coming up this afternoon on CITV, there's a game of hide and tweet <laughs> for Sylvester in cartoon time. Then, a disagreement breaks out between those two lovely lupines, bro and bro, when they decide to clean up their act and become window cleaners. There is, however, nothing clean about these three gentlemen who are planning a kidnap, an act they may well regret in Wolf. That's later. Now, old Bear is about to get even older. when a speed spell escapes. Find out in Wizardora. Next. A scorcher review today, the Powertrax truck. One of the toughest 4x4s available. On and off-road handling is remarkable due to its monster tyres. And it's available in four metallic colours with personal decals as standard. The price, only an unbelievable eight tokens from Kellogg's Scorn Blades. Like him, huh? Yeah. Appreciate each other. Looks like Willie's got himself a soulmate. He was too big and too old to be caught in the first place. Miss your family. Let's free Willie. Nobody steals a whale. Don't let that whale get away! Go, Willie, go! On video, Woolworths is right up your street. These are the Ultima Dance Hits of 94. It's the hottest and the freshest dance album of the year. It's Ultima Dance Hits 94. Incredible. Premium scandalous than your car insurance. Insurance costs stupid, just stupid. Absolutely dreadful. Premium search, problem solved, Phantom Sim. Call Premium Search on 0800 109876. Premium Search have special arrangements with top insurers so you can get very good rate without cutting quality of cover. I saved a packet. Extremely good value, I'd say. Premium Search, problem solved, Phantom Sim. Call 0800 109876. We're here 24 hours a day, every day. They say time flies when you're having fun. Just watch it go now. We adore her. We adore her. Doing things in a very special way. We adore her. Nothing sure her. You're the one that can brighten up our day. This is my diary, Philbert. Phoebe writes everything in it, and then we can plan our day. Oh, hello, you lot. I'm just checking what I've got to do today. Every day's a busy day when you're a wizard. <laughs> yeah, trainee wizard. Yes, thank you, Philbert, a trainee wizard. Well, this morning I can practice my spells, and this afternoon I can sort out all my old cloaks. And will love that, won't he? <laughs> <laughs> right, and this evening, bed early, I think. No, see? Okay. Hey, Dad. It says here, meet Dad this morning. What do you mean it says meet Dad this... Oh, no, it does as well. Oh, I'm going to be late. I thought I was supposed to meet him tomorrow, but obviously not. I'm supposed to see him today. Oh, you'd better hurry. You're right, Phil, but I'd better hurry. Hang on. I've just had a wizardorable idea. I've got my speed things up spell in my pocket. I think I'll use a bit of this. Now, I could do with your help, too. Wizardy saucer, wizardy cup. Here's a spell to speed things up. Nod my head, blink my eye. Cheerio, I'm off. Bye-bye. Right. I want no shenanigans or tomfoolery. I'm in charge and don't let anyone forget it. Right. Yeah, ah, Philbert, I'm glad you've arrived. Don't forget you've got to finish off your work. It's okay. I've got the whole day out to make you that. The whole day, eh? Well, you just make sure you plan it wisely. 
Uh, and Phoebe, you've got your filing to do. And very old fish, you and Nigel only have an hour to get your tank clean and sparkling. Uh, sparkling? Sparkling. And, uh, oh, it's nearly half past eight already. Yes, that's the time, half past eight. Uh, now, where's Wizardora? Got to visit her father. Go to visit her father? Well, that's not good enough. Yeah, I'm sure she should be sorting out her cloaks by now. Or is that this afternoon? Ah. Jumping, jumping jelly beans! What was that? My alarm clock? I didn't set it to go off just yet. It must be later than I think. Just got time to fill my fill barrow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, borrow my wheel fill. <laughs> fill, I mean, fill my wheel barrow before my mid-morning tea break. <laughs> Blistering barnacles, is that the time? Oh, abandon and tent cleaning, Nigel. What we've done so far, we'll have to do. We've got so much more work to get on with. Oh, don't remind me. Look at this mountain of filing I've got to do. Philbert, you better leave that homework for a minute and fold oh, that washing. Oh. What's going on? Why are you all rushing around like mad? What's it? Have you seen the time, Angle? Ha! Well, according to my pocket watch, You've still got plenty of time, so why are you all leaving your jobs half done? Really, Hangle, I must take exception. We've all been working our fins to the bone. Well, I have anyway. I want a clean kitchen, not excuses, very old fish. Now, I'm just coming back to get that last speck of dust out of my cupboard, and when I come back, I expect all your jobs to be finished. <laughs> Lunch? Well, what are they talking about? They've only just gone breakfast time. I don't know where the morning's gone. It seems like only a moment ago you were saying it was half past eight. And now look. God, it's almost twelve o'clock. Hello, Tatty Vogel. Lovely morning, isn't it? Mm, good morning. Did you start work late today, Pippa? It's almost noon to raft. <laughs> no, I mean, it's almost afternoon. Afternoon? It can't be. I've got all these letters to deliver as well. well it, it is. Look at my alarm clock. Hmm. You haven't overwound your alarm clock, have you, Tatty? No. It's perking perfectly. <laughs> I mean, it's working perfectly. Stan fixed it for me last week. You see? It's almost 12 o'clock. Wow, well, this is strange. Still, I haven't got time to wonder why I'm so late. i better deliver the day's post before it's night. Eh, Tatty? We want the lunch! We, we want, want the lunch. lunch! You drawer people can stop that racket when you like. You miss lunch. You have to wait till tea now. But we're absolutely mm. starving! Mm. It's not fair! Mm. <laughs> so, I take it we've all missed lunch? Oh dear, and Nigel and I were rather building up an appetite with all this cleaning. Oh. You should worry. Look at all these dishes and pans I've got to clean. And I've got to work out what I'm going to cook for tea. Well, really, this is not good enough. Not good enough at all. Still, if you want a job doing properly, you've got to do it yourself, I always say. <laughs> well, bless my hook. Most peculiar. <sighs> this is really weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really weird. But according to my alarm clock, it's time for me to go to bed. Morning, Tatty. Have you only just got up, you lazy old scarecrow? No, I got up this morning first thing and I've been working all day. And now I'm ready to go to bed. But the trouble is, I don't feel a sit beaty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a bit sleepy. <laughs> I'm not surprised, Tatty. It's still morning. People only go to sleep when it's dark at night. Not while the sun's still shining brightly. Yes, I see what you mean. Well, what made you think it was night time? My alarm clock. Look. Hmm. I think I know what's happened. According to my watch, it's not even ten o'clock yet. But you only have to look at the clock to see what time it is, Hangle. Bedtime. Bedtime? Bed time? But, but we, we haven't had any tea. tea. And we haven't done anything naughty. Which is what normally happens when we're sent to bed without any tea. No, oh, so don't blame us for the clock going round and round and round. Hold on, everyone. I think my speed things up spell has escaped, which is why the clock's spinning around so fast. 
Still, with a bit of wizardification, we can sort that out. There, back to normal. Well, that's the same time as my pocket watch said all the while, see? Ah, Pangle, have you been in your cupboard most of the morning? Well, that explains it. You see, the spell couldn't have reached in there, but it's affected the clock in here and Tatty's clock outside. Uh, so that means we've got the whole day ahead of us. Well, swivel me Swedes. Good. So we can get back to the cleaning rota. Oh, hang on, Hangle. I think everyone deserves a rest. I mean, they've been working extremely hard because they thought they were running out of time. Well, I suppose so. Well, just as long as the cleaning gets done eventually. It will be, Hangle. And I promise I'll try not to let any stray spells escape again. How will you do that, Brigadella? Well, it's easy. I'll just make a note of it in my diary. And this time I'll remember to read it. You should all be getting fit like me. Take a look at this. They're both on CITV tomorrow. Whatever pizza Sybil's got, this spell will make it very hot. <laughs> hot stuff in the Spooks of Bottle Bay, but next today, a magic adventure for Mumphy. A big spaceship came to visit one day. They beamed up the day. Breakfast, the crisp chocolatey bubbles taste magic. Even turn the milk chocolatey. So. You know, you'd look great as a blonde. Do I know you? Nice and easy. 104, it's you. <laughs> well, I've never colored my hair. Oh, trust me. See, nice and easy works with your hair's own tones and highlights. Look at mine. Does that look natural? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Time to print. <laughs> She's gonna stop traffic. It's nice and easy to be natural. Think of the way mature cheddar used to taste. Cathedral City. For those who know their cheddar. The Fisher Price Action Sounds Garage. The car will be over there at two o'clock. Where the two way power wrench makes it so easy to get under the car, change a tyre, customise, and run through the car wash. Can it come back my pie? The Fisher Price Action Sounds Garage, where the fun always takes longer than you think. Right, time for a quick look at what's in store today. Next, they've got Happy Feet, and they've also got Mumphy. Can he escape from the pirates? There's no escape for the Foxwoods, though. They're preparing themselves for an invasion of giant gawp-like crows on Astro Farm. After that, Garfield has his cake and eat it. And, uh, well, it's not up for discussion, really. Then, the incredible world of Tizzy, the world's newest chacho host in today's Bad Influence. That's all later. Now, here comes Mumph. Watch now. Oh, hello, you lot. I'm just mixing up some cake mix to make a yummy fruit cake. <laughs> hello, Wizardora. Oh, what are you doing? Hello, Tatty. I'm mixing up a fruit cake. Ooh, but it looks all soft and gooey. Well, that's because I haven't finished mixing it yet. Now I've got to put it in the oven. Look, it's all soft and creamy. But a fruit cake's all hard and crumbly. Well, so will this one be once I've put it in the oven and cooked it. Oh, Tatty, please can you go and see if my bag of mixed fruits over by the oven? 
Tatty, have you found that mixed fruit yet? I can't find it, Wizard Aura. Oh, what have I done with it? Oh, where did I put it? Oh, diddle! I've broken my wooden spoon. Now what can I use? It's the only one I had. A fork! That's what you need. Oh, yes. Actually, a fork might do it. I'll go and fetch it then. Oh, thanks, Tatty. While you're doing that, I'll look for that bag of mixed fruit. Now, where did I put it? Oops. Oh! I do wish that certain people would respect other certain persons' personal living space and not dump their old rubbish in that person's said space. Hangle? That's my mixed fruit bag. And it's empty. Exactly. <laughs> Draw, people. Here we are. Tatty, what's that for? For stirring your cute fake. I mean, stirring your fruitcake. Uh, I'm afraid not, Tatty. It's a bit too big, and even if I could fit it in the bowl, it would make everything come out all lumpy. Oh, but if you really want to help me, you could go down to Stan's and get me a new wooden spoon and a huge big bag of mixed fruit. And you could also get me... So, you want a new wooden spoon? A huge big bag of mixed fruit and... Shh! I don't want anyone else to know about that. Oh, Tatty, don't forget this. <gasps> Whoops. And uh, while you're at Stan's, I think you'd better get some wool and we'll try and fix your trousers. <laughs> Thanks, Wizardora. And I thought it was going to be so simple just to bake a cake. Oh, hello, Tatty. Oh, you've been doing some gardening. Hello, Stan. Oh, no, this was for Wizardora to mix her stir with. <clears throat> I mean, stir her mix with. What on earth was she mixing? Cement? No, she's taking a bake. <clears throat> I mean, baking a cake. Why was she using a garden fork to cake a bake? I mean, bake a cake. <gasps> she's not. She's using cake mix. I see. Yeah. Right, look, let's start again, shall we? <clears throat> Morning, Tati. Oh. Oh, me? Yeah, no, no. All right. Forget it, Tatty. Forget it. Look, what can I get for you? A bag of fruit spoons, please. A bag of fruit spoons? Yes, and some mixed wood. Yeah. Look, Tatty, you don't mean a bag of mixed fruit and a wooden spoon, do you? Don't I? Do I? Yes, that's right. A bag of mixed fruit and a wooden spoon. Right, then. Tatty. That, that, that thing just bit me. Right. <laughs> that couldn't bite you. That's a cheese grater. Well, it wasn't very great to me. Well, that's because you shouldn't rub your finger over. It's very rough and sharp. It's used for making big pieces of cheese into small pieces of cheese. Oh, but it's, it's full of holes. <laughs> I mean, full of holes. Yes, well, that's so that when you, uh, when you take the soft cheese and rub it over the rough and bumpy surface, the cheese that you're cutting can escape. Oh, if I was sliding over that thing, I'd want to escape. Yeah, quite. Right, well, I'll get what you want. That is, if I can trust you not to touch anything else. Ooh. The uh, bag of mixed fruit, was that a large one or a small one? The large one. Um, oh, um. Uh, you haven't hurt yourself again, have you? Ooh. Now, you won't get the powder off like that. It's too powdery and too clingy. Well, it doesn't feel clingy. It feels very nice. Like what and coal. <laughs> I mean, cotton wool. Yes, well, that's because it is so fine that it sticks. Now, you're going to have to wash it off with some soap. Uh, the uh, bag of mixed fruit, was that a large one or a small one? Ooh, uh, none of those, Stan. Medium, then? Nope. Nope, not that either. A big one. That was it. A big one. <laughs> Slippy dippy. Oh. Now what's gone wrong? It, it, it was the soap. The soap? It just dived straight out of my hands. And then I chased it across the floor, but it escaped. And I hanged my bed. 
I mean, banged my head on the counter. And I've just remembered. Well, I'm surprised you've forgotten so quickly. Forgotten what? Well, that the soap is so slippy. I haven't. You said that you just remembered. That's right. Yeah, but I'll... Uh, uh, I've just remembered that Wizardora wants some secret saving. <laughs> I mean, something secret. Oh, great, Tatty. You got my wooden spoon and my big bag of mixed fruit. Yes, and the... Shh! That's a surprise. Right. I'll just put this huge big bag of mixed fruit by the oven while I finish mixing my fruit cake. There. See? <laughs> if I'm not very much mistaken, someone's going to be in for a big surprise any moment now. Now, while I'm waiting, I'll fix Tatty's trousers. Have you got the wool, Tatty? Oh, Tatty, that's wire wool. You need lamb's wool. Wire wool's used for shining metal, not repairing trousers. It's too rough. Well, maybe I can use it to shine the big sign I'm about to hang up then. Well, what sign's that, Hangle? Oh, yes, Angle, I wanted a word about that. Oh, you did, did you? If you're about to say sorry, then I'll accept your... Good gallop early, Kinney's cash and the French first took... <laughs> oh, I'm not sorry, Angle, but I know some little... and it jolly well serves you... What would like to have happened is this horse just to tie up a little bit so he... ...promise never to touch things you shouldn't ever again. We promise, we promise. All right, then. You can have some lemon... <laughs> is that better? We adore her, we adore her. You know, I think that green is my very favourite colour, Mary. No, Tuddy Mobile tries a bit of pedal power. It's Wizardora next. You can stop your deadlocks being shown. You can stop Ella Shiro when he's barely in form. But you can't stop a corn pop a popping more corn. No, you can't stop a corn pop a popping more corn. Crunchy Kellogg's Corn Pops part of your nutritious breakfast. With all that fabulous popcorn flavour, you simply can't stop a Corn Pop a popping more corn. No, you can't stop a Corn Pop a popping more corn. Kellogg's Corn Poppers can't stop. How could this be? There's something wrong, you'll agree. It's no hot dog at all. If it's shit like a ball. Campbell's hot doggers. Did aliens come down and make everything round? What's with my underwear? They made balls out of brain burners. Those rotten shaped perverters say these Campbell's hot doggers taste good. In three flying sauces. Hey, they're from Campbell's. We knew that they would. The new Fisher Price Doodle Table has so many ways to be creative and such a neat way to clean up. No wonder Polly and Wally doodle all the day. The Doodle Table, new from Fisher Price. Psych! Psych! The brilliant debut album from PJ and Duncan. 12 killer hits. Get Psych now on CD, cassette and a bad new video. Psych! And now, with a wing and a wang and a whittle woo it's time to watch Wizardora. Wizardora, Wizardora, doing things in a very special way. Wizardora, nothing sure. You're the one that can brighten up my day.
It's hard work digging over my vegetable patch. I'm tired, <laughs> tired out. Hello, Tatty Bogle. Do you mind if I stop here for a minute? I'm quite exhausted. Oh, hello, Pippa. No, go in, sit down. I'm just having a rest from pigging, <laughs> digging. Ooh, that's a nice bicycle. Is it new? Yes, and cycling means I can get the post delivered much faster. But cycling up hills is hard work. What you need is a battery to power the wheels. <laughs> I mean, power the wheels, so you don't have to pedal so hard. Hmm, let me think. Hmm. Hello, you lot. I'm just about to dish up the lunch. Mind you, the vegetables are taking ages. I don't think the cooker's giving off enough heat. When's lunch, Wizardora? Soon, Top. Oh, no! I think the electricity people must have turned the power off. Oh, I'm scared of the dark. Oh, <laughs> don't be silly, Bottom. It's not dark at all in here. It's still light outside. But we're not outside, we're inside. Oh, what a shame. I was just receiving a very nice fax from my friend. And he can't finish it now, there's no electricity. Um, how long before we can eat, Wizardora? I don't know, Sticky. Now there's no electric power, the cooker won't work. Can't you wither up a spell to make it work? Good idea. Now, let me see. What is electricity, anyway? It's a form of energy. You can use electricity for all sorts of things. To provide the heat to cook food, or the light for a light bulb, or the power to work my fax machine. Well, is Hangul electric, then? He's always got so much energy. No, it makes me tired. It makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hangul isn't electric. He just turns his own energy into movement. I'd rather turn mine into eating. <laughs> hmm, it's going to be a difficult spell, but I think I can do it. Oh, shouldn't you give your mother a ring just to make sure? No, I'll manage. I am a wizard after all. <laughs> Hello, this is Wizardora's residence. Phoebe speaking. How may I help you? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, I'll tell her. Goodbye now. It was your mother. She said you're a trainee wizard and that energy spells are very powerful and you should be sure to put it in a jar and not let it escape. I do wish Mum wouldn't listen in. Why is the phone working when the electricity's off? Because phones work on their own electricity, but the fax machine and poot need to be plugged into the mains. Here goes. Ready, wand? A wizardy why, wizardy how. Make some energy and make it now! Hello, Wizardora. I bought Pippa for some punch. <coughs> Lunch. She's tired out, and food will give her energy. <coughs> energy. Is there enough to go round? Of course there is. Pippa, have a seat. I've just had an invent for an idention. <coughs> I mean, an idea for an intention. <coughs> I mean, invention. So I'll have my lunch later. He doesn't want any lunch. I always said scarecrows had straw for brains. <laughs> <laughs> now. If I fit this battery, <laughs> a battery on here, and... Ah, making an awful mess. You keep quiet. Oh, dear. All that food's made me sleepy. Well, why don't you have a snooze? I don't think Tatty's quite finished your bicycle. I'll go out and see how he's getting on. You see that jar of energy? Yes. If we had a, a bit of it, we'd have enough energy to eat more sweet. That's not a bad idea, Sticky. Now. If I just lift the lid a little way... And now I just mark the battery. Yeah, I mean, start the battery. Look, no feet. That's brilliant. I'll just go and get Pippa. Oh dear, I think I'd better have another look at that battery. Oh, is that the time? Oh, I really have to fly. Come on then. Hello, this is Phoebe, international communications expert. Hello, is, is this my residence? 
How may I fax you? I am Phoebe. What's going on? Stop! Stop! I am Poonja. I am a computer. My input voltage is too high. I have too much power. My headaches. I am working too fast. I am Poonja. I am a computer. What's going on? Stop playing about. I'm an old fish. I only swim slowly. Thank you very much, Tatty. It's very clever of you. Oh, you're welcome. Unscrambled. By heck, I haven't been so shaken up since I was a young sprat. Poot is, is going, going into auto shutdown, shutdown mode for, for a rest. rest. Right, now we've got to capture that energy. Oh, please, my help. <gasps> well, it certainly was different. But I don't think it'll make delivering the post any easier, Tatty. It wasn't Tatty's fault, Pippa. It's the energy spell. It's escaped from the jar. Draw, people. Oh. Get back into your drawers. No. Oh. Oh. If you cycle off now, Pippa, you should be all right. Thanks very much. Bye, then. Bye. Now, then, where is it? There it is. <gasps> gotcha! <laughs> Come on, we'll get the draw people now. Draw people! Oh, Phil! And they're sick. You had no right to touch the energy oh. spell. Oh, Jesus! Oh. You knew it was powerful. And everything's sick. Well, oh. there'll be no buns for you for tea today. Oh, oh I couldn't look a bun in the face, <laughs> let alone oh. eat one. I don't think I'll ever eat anything ever again. Oh. I think they've had their punishment already. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> we adore her, we adore her. Do we in her very special way? We adore her, nothing sure her. I think it is more from her tomorrow. Next today, old Bear's chums are having a whale of a time in the toy room. But what's the matter with old Bear's chair? Find out in just a min. Tackle the surf and one. Nothing's better than the great taste of Kellogg's Frosties as part of your nutritious breakfast. There go. Johnson's kids, no more tangles shampoo, no more tears, no more tangles. Just shiny, healthy looking hair. Don't tangle with me. You can't kid a Johnson's kid. These are the greatest hits of 94. 40 top 10 hits are specially compiled to make this the greatest double album of the year. Classic number ones from Take That, Stiltskin, and D Ream. Plus the current hits with R. Kelly. It's unbeatable. 40 brilliant hits, and they're all top 10 monsters. Together they are the greatest hits of 94 from Telstar.
If machine washing your fine cottons causes a lot of bubbling, you should try picking a different powder. New Dreft Ultra. Right, what have we got on CITV today? Oh, look, a feathered duster. Everyone's got their eyes on the birdie in cartoon time. Ben? Yes, I hope he gets what's coming to him, and after Wolf it, someone's planning a star-spangled future for Rex in Wolf. Roll up for that a little bit later. First, though, snuggle back for Old Bear. Figure of a letter, and extremely useful, too, especially when spelling Wizardora. Wizardora, Wizardora. Not recognized. That's the second time, Phoebe. You're just not concentrating. Oh, sorry, Poot. Hango, could you whistle a little more softly? It's putting me off. You tell? Well, I beg your pardon. I'm sure, Phoebe. <laughs> I wish I could whistle. No, it's easy. You purse your lips together and blow. Filbert. Well, that's not surprising. Who ever heard of a whistling vegetable? <laughs> what? <laughs> Lots of people can't whistle. I bet Phoebe can't. I can. <whistles> oh, I want to whistle! Well, I'm the best whistler in this kitchen, so I am. Oh, hello, you lot. I was concentrating so hard on my paper, I didn't see you there. Now, Philbert, what's the matter? I want to whistle! You want to whistle? Well, I'm sure I've got a whistling spell in my spell book. Let's have a look. Mm. Ha! Here it is. Don't worry, Philbert. We'll soon have you whistling just like a... Just like a... Like a kettle. <laughs> OK, just like a kettle. Three, four. This is going to be my great binge and cheer. Give out in ginger beer. Oh, you crispy pose, go away. Now, I need three more spoonfuls. Or was it four? Oh, dear. Perhaps it was five. Oh, dear. Oh, that sounds awful. Oh, yeah, yes, she'll be there right away. With Adora, you'll have to go at once. Your mother is in the middle of a very, very hard spell, and she needs another wand. What about my spell? Oh, I'm sorry, Phil, but I can't finish your spell. But why don't you try it? It's really easy. All you have to do is add six sneezeberries and say sneezeberry after each one. Now, where's my wand? Ah, there it is. Then you wave your arms twice and hopefully you'll whistle. Oh. Do you think you can remember all that? Yeah, yeah! Good. Right, bye everyone, I must whiz. Now, Philbert, just remember that you have to concentrate if you want to get the spell right. Concentrate! What this do it? Two sneezeberries? That's right, Philbert. Concentrate. I can't concentrate with all these crows. A quick blast of my crow scanner will teach them. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Once a sweet, Philbert. Oh, yes, please. Philbert, concentrate, please. You're going to get this all wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 
Don't pay any attention to the drawer, people. They're just teasing you. Huh? What? Snitchery? Two snitchery? Three snitchery? Hey, Philbert! Concentrate, Philbert. Philbert, keep your mind on the spell. Six snitchery? No, 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 wait, wait, you left some out. You didn't say. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> Oh, the spell must have gone wrong again. You'll have to start again, Philbert. Do it again, Philbert. <laughs> oh, watch out, Philbert. You'll get some on me. <laughs> oh, no. Now see what you've done. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I said hello. I'm back. What's the matter with all of you? Do you know what's the matter with them? Philbert, how did your whistling spell go? Can you whistle yet? Philbert! <laughs> I think the whistle spell went wrong with Adora. I think it must have, Bottom. Philbert, you have had trouble, haven't you? Here, let me help you. Thank goodness for that, Wizardora. That was the best spell we've ever had. It was all their fault, Wizardora. They kept teasing Philbert so he couldn't concentrate. Right, you lot. Back to your drawers. No! No! Now, Philbert, let's try it again, and this time we'll all help you concentrate. One. Spirit. Mm -hmm. Two. Spirit. Three. Spirit. Four. Spirit. Five. Spirit. Six. Spirit. <laughs> well done, Philbert. I knew you could do it. <laughs> you really concentrated that time. Now let's. See if it works. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this calls for a celebration. Yeah. Great idea. But what are we going to celebrate with? I'm going shopping this afternoon. Oh, but we want to celebrate now. Hmm, let me think. Heavy. What's that, Tatty? I bought it to show you, Wizardora. It's my binger gear. <laughs> the best yet. Ginger beer? Well, that means... That we can celebrate Philbert's whistling Ooh. success in style. those things. Still, so far so good. CITV, it's magic! <laughs> <laughs> One's at the ready, it's Wizardora. Next! Mum aerosol doesn't sting. And it has a body responsive formula with micro capsules which activate when your body heat rises releasing extra deodorant protection. Which is why Mum Aerosol keeps you feeling shower fresh all day long. Stay shower fresh 
with body responsive mum. Like nature, your skin renews itself by shedding the outer cells. New from Nivea Visage comes a new day cream with natural AHA complex. It gently stimulates the skin's top layer, revealing the younger skin beneath. New day cream with natural AHA complex from Nivea Visage. Kellogg's Corn Pops are bursting with so much fabulous popcorn flavour. You can't stop a corn popper. Can't stop a corn popper, pop me more corn. Make Kellogg's Corn Pops part of your nutritious breakfast. With all that popcorn flavour, you simply can't stop a corn popper, pop me more corn. So you can't stop a corn popper, pop me more corn. So you can't stop a corn popper, pop me more corn. Kellogg's Corn Poppers can't stop. At last, the breakthrough you've been waiting for. Clairol's Natural Instincts. A gentle way to color hair that uses natural ingredients, which naturally conditions while enhancing color, leaving your hair in better condition than before you colored it. In just 10 minutes. New Natural Instincts from Clairol. Sunburst, a new light, fresh fragrance of summer from Mum. Oh dear, he's come back. Well, never mind, here's Wizardora. Wizardora, Wizardora, doing things in a very special way. Wizardora, nothing surer. You not? It's all going on back at the cottage. I've left Hangle in charge. He's decided to wash everything. Still, I must dash. I'm going to meet Tatty at the market. See you later. Come along, Philbert, and be careful with that cutlery. Joy, oh, watch it, Philbert. I've already had a wash this morning. That's right, Philbert. They've sunk right to the bottom of the washing up bowl. And do you know why that is? No! Well, I'll let Poot tell you. Knives and forks and spoons are made of metal. Metal is very heavy, and heavy things sink. So, everything sinks in water, does it? <laughs> no, not everything sinks in water, Philbert. Now look, I've just cleaned some of Tatty Bogle's old bottle corks out of the drawer. Now see what happens when you put them in the water. Yeah, they're floating. That's what it's called when things bob about on the surface of the water. It's because corks are very light. Light things float in the water, and heavy things don't. Why don't you try an experiment? What's an experiment? <laughs> an experiment's what you do to find things out. So, look around the kitchen and find things that you can put in the water. Uh-oh, I don't like washing, especially behind my ears. You haven't got ears, you noodle brain. None of us straw people have. That's right, Sticky. Still, better duck back inside the drawers, just in case. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See, Philbert, the pencil flows in the water. Ooh. Now, try something else. Oh, I wonder if that empty yoghurt container will float. will float because, because it's made of wood, which is light. A yogurt container is made of plastic. That's light, too. Try the key, Philbert. See if that floats. Without making a mess. Oh, it sunk. <laughs> so it has, because it's made of metal. Anyway, don't be such a misery, Hangle. Philbert's having fun as he learns something. And you are being a spoil sport. Spoil sport? Well, really? I don't have to stand around here and be insulted. No, you can go inside your cupboard instead. Yes, yeah, that ain't all. No. 
Like that, wouldn't you? Cos then you could make as much mess as you like. Oh, please, please. All this arguing isn't going to help at all. Besides, I was rather enjoying Poot telling us all about things floating and things sinking. Fascinating. Really? Well, I'd have thought a fish would know all about whether you float or you sink. Oh, but of course I've known about it for years. I am a very old fish, after all. But you see, all this talk reminds me of an elephant I once knew a long time ago. Oh, I feel another story coming on. Gerard lived in a remote part of Africa, somewhere near the jungle and close to the sea. No! Did you live in a mud hut? No, he didn't live in a mud hut or a log cabin or a cave. He lived in a fine brick house and he built it himself, you know, brick by brick. Surely he didn't build the roof out of bricks. No, he used tiles and wood for the roof. That kept the rain off. Uh, but when he finished, he still had a lot of bricks left over, so he decided to build himself a raft. That's ridiculous. Building a raft out of bricks. The raft wouldn't float because bricks are too heavy. <laughs> I know that. You know that. But he didn't. But it didn't matter anyway. Why ever not? Because once he'd built it, it was too big and too heavy, and he couldn't get it out through the doorway. <laughs> Oh, I think he was bonkers, building a brick raft in the middle of his living room. Oh, it didn't matter to Gerard. He simply covered it with a blanket and used it as a rather grand bed. Just right for an elephant. <laughs> it's a stupid story, if you ask me. Philbert, yeah. stop those time-wasting experiments and get on with the washing up. There's a full bottle of washing up liquid there. And when I come back, I expect to see everything sparkling clean. Hmm. <laughs> If you want something small to float, it helps if it's made out of something light, like plastic, or fiberglass, or wood. Or sausages! Hey, do sausages float then? Who knows? I thought if I mentioned sausages, someone might cook some. Duh, <laughs> but nobody is. Oi, Philbert! Yeah. You'll make that bottle float by squeezing the washing up liquid out of it. Oh. Is that right, Top? Who knows? <laughs> but it'll cause a mess. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Felbert. The plastic bottle's bobbing up and down. <laughs> it floats too. The drawer people told me to empty the washing up liquid out of the bottle. They told you to empty it. Oh, why did you say that, drawer people? Ah, uh, um, uh, uh, to make it flow. Actually, Actually the, the drawer people were correct. Because, because the liquid was poured out, it meant that the space inside the bottle was filled with air. It's air that makes things float. And you said you'll only do it to make a mess. Keep quiet, big mouth. Quick, run for cover! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I see what they mean about making a mess. Bubbles are everywhere. Oh, dear. I know Hangle wanted things clean, but I don't think he meant as clean as this. Oh, hello again. Look, I got a real bargain down at the market. A whole basket full of apples. I love apples, don't you? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'd rather be down at the market than in here cleaning up. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh. Yikes! Are you having bubble trouble? Oh, it's a long story. But Philbert is finding out which things float and which things sink. Well, I think a little bit of wizardification's in order here. <laughs> you lot can help me with this. A wizardy whiz, a wizardy wobble. Blink your eyes to burst a bubble. Stand on one leg and start to hop. Please make all of these bubbles pop! <laughs> That's all right, Philbert. Now you've seen that bubbles float too. Oh, this kitchen's cleaner than I've ever seen it. Oh, well done, everyone. As a reward for that and for teaching Philbert, I think you all deserve an apple. Do you know apples float? Yes, Philbert, apples do float. In fact, I've just had a wizardorable idea. Let's play a game called apple bobbing. Ooh. All we need is a bowl of water. Which we've got. <laughs> it's nice and clean now, and no bubbles. Hey, bubbles? What are you on about? Oh, uh, nothing, Hangul. Now, we just pop the apples into the water, and then we try and eat them without using our hands. Right, it's 
great fun, but it's a bit messy. So, Hangul, I think you'd better get your dishcloth ready. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll go first so you can all see how to do it. I would have to have a go at that myself. <laughs> Frightened. Yeah. Oh, but Philbert Aubergines can't talk. Oh, one of your stray spells, Wizardora. Ah, yes. Uh, well, tell it not to be frightened. I'll bring it straight back. Okay. Good. Now then. Wizard. He wants me to hold it still. Oh, isn't that sweet, Wizardora? It wants Philbert to hold its stem. Philbert, please, will you explain to your vegetable friends? Oh, that... is Annie. Oh, Annie Aubergine. What a sweet name. Oh, that's enough of that, Phoebe. I'm trying to make a spell, not make friends with an aubergine. Annie? Oh, well, Annie, I'm sorry, Philbert. Please tell your friend Annie that if you hold her stem, you might disappear too. True. I'm not afraid. Well, you might not be afraid, but I am. You may never come back, especially if the spell isn't strong enough. Hmm, can you not use some of the sprinkle twinkle sauce on your wand to make it more powerful? Well, I suppose I could, but I'll have to start all over again. All right, sprinkle twinkle sauce. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Give me that bottom! Yeah, yeah, give me that bottom! Hey, what are you doing my rope? That's not your rope, that's mine! It's mine! It's oh. mine! <laughs> your bullfrog, it's mine! Whizzawa, <laughs> whizzawa, disappear, da da da! Good, I remembered the spell. I wonder if this twinkle sauce is all right. I haven't used it for ages. I can't hear it twinkle. Whizzawa, woozawa, disappear, da da da! Whizzawa, oh. won! Oh, no! Nabby! What's going on? I didn't mean it. Whizzawa has disappeared! Da, oh, I've swallowed my toothpaste! Oh, she's done it again. Well, we'll have to get her back. Let's get her back. How? Aren't all her spells logged in poot? Yes, very old fish. They are. Well, find the spell, Phoebe. Find the spell. Ooh. Yes, that's Wizardora's wand, all right. I wonder what it's doing up there. If I get it down for her, maybe she can help me with my jumper up there. Another fine mess I've got myself in. Hello. Are you lost? I'm afraid so. Welcome to the land of lost things. Thank you. Oh dear, here I am again and without my wand. I hope Phoebe can think of a way to save me. Care for a game of darts? Oh, I'd love a game. Of course, we don't have a board. Only, Only the, the darts, darts are lost. lost. <laughs> I should have known. Bell, bell. What the other come home spells, Phoebe? Oh, oh dear. Uh, did, try take me home then. Right? Oh dear. Pucker powder, twirl dust, giggle gas, dance drops, fly flower, tickle talcum. Oh, Wizardora, please come home. We we miss you. Wizardora! <laughs> I, I think, think I found something, Phoebe. The lost and found spell. In order to make the spell work, you need the wand. The wand! The wand! The wand! Who's got the wand? Not me. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I think it disappeared with Wizardora. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, Wobbling wheelbarrows. That wand is just too high. If only I could use my jumper upper. I'll be up there in a jiffy to get the wand back for Wizardora. Wizard Dora, of course! I could get her to use her magic to get the wand down from the tree. Why didn't I think of that before? A Wizard Dora? She's, She's disappeared. disappeared. Disappeared? Are you sure? 
She doesn't very often disappear and leave her wand behind, does she? Her oh. wand? Oh. Mm -hmm. It's up in my tree. Hooray! I uh, wouldn't count your ducks before they can moo if I were you. It's too high to reach. Oh. Uh, there is a way I can get it down, actually. But I'll need some help. I'll help. Oh, oh yes, Jackie. yes, I'll help you, Tatty. Quiet, everyone. Tatty, how can you get it down? By use of my jumper upper. Jumper, jumper upper? upper. Hmm. You can see it out of the window. If I had some help, I could use it to jump up into the tree and grab the wand. How would you get down, Tatty? Down? Ooh. I hadn't thought of that, very old fish. Don't worry. We can all work as a team. What's a team? A team is where everyone has their own job to do to help each other. Just tell us what to do, very old fish, and we'll do it. And there are more where she came from, Wizardora. Oh, I think one kitten's quite enough. Everyone know what their jobs are? Yes. yes. All right, then. All together now. Oh. 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 Where's a wow? Where's a what? Wizardora, please come back. Hooray! Hooray! What a team! I don't believe it. Who managed to bring me back? Well, surely someone did. Not someone, Wizardora. Oh! Everyone! What? You all did it? We worked together as a team. Wizardora! <laughs> <laughs> We adore her, doing things she had every special right. We adore her, nothing sure. You're the one that can brighten up our day. Living with your mask and your friends in a kitchen full of fun. A finish day never ends. We adore her, we adore her. With a spot of riddlification tomorrow on CITV when Mossop and Tiddlup try out their thought magic. And after that, Wizardora's back with a very smelly spell. Find out what that one does tomorrow. And don't forget, later today, there's more puppet pandemonium with Sooty and Co. As part of your nutritious breakfast, <laughs> Kellogg's Honey Nut Loops now taste even better, don't they? <laughs> Take one packet of butterscotch flavour angel delight, add half a pint of milk, whisk until light and fluffy, freeze and serve. Angel delight, much more than a dessert. <laughs> How many adults in Britain should consider reducing the level of cholesterol in their blood? Experts say as many as two out of three. New Ribena juice and fibre can help reduce cholesterol as part of a low-fat diet. And with two delicious varieties, you'll enjoy drinking to your heart's content. Sunshine on a rainy day Makes my soul, makes my soul trip, trip away Only sweet corn this young and tender. I'm gonna give you rhythm, man. Oh, 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 we are awful, aren't we? It's Dizzy Wizzy. Next. Working hard, keep pushing myself. Once more, Tony. That's it. <laughs> Let's see if you're any good. Uh -oh. Go on, tiger. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Now let's catch some breakfast. Make Kellogg's Frosties part of your nutritious breakfast. All right. Kellogg's Frosties. They're great. With Lenore, you get four ways to give your wash a breath of fresh air.
Lenore. Four breaths of fresh air for your wash. 11 o'clock and it's time for a break. Oh. Let's put a flake in this break. When you gas Time with Molly and the gang every Friday at quarter to four on CITV. So for more galactic adventure on the planet Gully Frip, join Duster Bleh. and Molly, Coral, Gavin, and of course, Bobo. I've just had a brilliant idea. Watch Molly's gang every Friday at quarter to four on CITV. And now it's time to put on your dancing shoes and get ready to boogie. That's right, have a cat, just like that. So take your partners for today's Wizardora. Hello, you lot. Tatty looks like he's enjoying himself, doesn't he? Mind you, I think his dancing could do with tuning up a little. Morning, Tatty. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, hello, Wizardora. Yeah, I mean, uh, Wizardora. I didn't uh, see you wanding there, Stutchy. No, I mean, standing there, watching. <laughs> it's all right, Tatty. I was quite enjoying watching you dance. Dance? Me? I think I don't so. I don't think so, Tatty. You see, even you agree. <laughs> Come on, Tatty, I saw you dancing with that broom. I was not. You were. I wasn't. You were. I wasn't. I thought you were very good. Did you? A little strange here and there, but nothing that can't be worked on. You see, Tatty, dancing is all about moving to rhythm. Ah, uh, uh, yes, but you need music for rhythm, 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 what you just said. Well, not necessarily. I mean, for instance, you could sing a rhyme. Tatty, Tatty, help me dance. Tatty, Tatty, take this chance. Oh, dear. <laughs> this dancing knock's not as easy as it looks, is it? You need plenty of that old rhythm. <laughs> Ah, now, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, morning, Pippa. Morning, Wizardora. Practising for the dance, I see. Which dance? Uh, no, not a witch dance. A farmer's big shed dance. A farmer's big shed dance? I think he means barn dance. <gasps> oh, wizardacious. I suppose it is if you've got someone to go with. I bet you've got loads of invitations to the dance. Oh, well, uh, I take it you're not going then, Pippa. I did hint to Stan, but he didn't ask, so I'm not going. Oh, I see. Well, you never know. He may change his mind later. Hmm. A rotten shame. And now, I know what a rotten egg is, but, uh, no, I don't think I know what a rotten shame is. Tatty. It's a rotten shame that Pippa won't be going to the dance. Oh, if you say so, Wizardora. <laughs> but we can do something about it. Come on, Tatty. Where are we going? To Stan's shop. Ooh. I see Wizardora's gone off to Stan's shop then, has she? Oh, thank you for asking if I wanted anything, Wizardora. <laughs> you talking to yourself again, Hangle? No, I wasn't. I was talking to very old fish. Change his name to Wizardora then, has he? No, he hasn't. So why did you call Very Old Fish Wizardora instead of Very Old Fish then? Yeah! I don't need this. I don't need this one little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's Wizardora up to then, Very Old Fish? She was dancing in the garden with Tatty. Dancing? Yes, dancing. Dancing silly, silly, dancing silly. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Dancing is graceful and delightful. I remember when I used to go to the choral dance. Now that was a dance. Oh, oh. You mean you used to dance, very old fish? 
I used to dance to the rhythm of the water and the waves. Those were the days. They even made a film about me once, you know. Go away. What was it called? Dances with fishes. <laughs> right, Tatty, leave this to me. Absolutely tootly. Oh, morning, Wizardora. Morning, Tatty. I'm leaving this to Wizardora. Oh, you are, are you? Morning, Stan. Take no notice of Tatty. He's not himself today. Well, who am I, then? Right, so, Wizardora, what can I do for you? Well, actually, um... I don't really know. But I, I thought you were going to ask Stan about taking Stan to the Pippa. <laughs> I mean, ask Stan about taking Pippa to the dance. Ah, uh, yes, well, um... Yes, well, um... Ah, I've put my mouth in it again, haven't I? No, Tatty, you've put your foot in it. Put it in what? Your mouth, Tatty. Did I? Yes. yes. <laughs> no, you see, it's not that I... Well, I don't want to take Pippa to the dance. It's just, well, that I can't. Why? Are you doing something else? Yeah, no, I can't dance. I've got two left feet. Well, if he's got two left feet, so have I. <laughs> no, Tatty, I think Stan means that he gets all mixed up when he dances. Well, that's all right. I get all the time mixed up. <laughs> no, I mean, I get mixed up all the time. No, it's not that, Tatty. It's just that, well, I can't. I'm a terrible dancer, you see. I've got absolutely no natural sense of rhythm at all. I bet you have, Stan. Come on, come and show me. But I can't. Yes, of course you can. <laughs> no music. Ah, right. Tatty, music maestro, please. Stan. Oh, 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 we are awful, aren't we? Well, now you can see why I can't take Pippa to the dance. You will go to the dance, Stan. You will. You just make sure you pop around to my place before you pick up Pippa. You're not going to do any of your jiggery-pokery, are you? No. Just a little bit of hokey-cokey, that's all. <laughs> I'm going to give you rhythm, man. Come on, Tatty! Well, you look nice, Wizardora. Oh, thank you, Tatty. We are going to a barn dance, remember? That is, of course, if I can find a suitable partner. Well, if it will help you out of a spot, I suppose I could accompany you. Thank you, Hangel. Although I must say, you're rather overdressed for a barn dance. You'll do, though. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, hello, Wizardora. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello Stan. Hello, Stan. Um, it's not going to be painful, is it, this thing you want me to do? Oh, no, of course not. All we have to do is find out where you're going wrong first. Follow me. <laughs> right then, Stan. Take me in your arms. What? Oh, I say. <laughs> Come on, dance with me like we did in the shop. Stan. Dance with me like you did in the shop? Oh. A uh, one, two, three, shake a knee. Four, five, six, wriggle your hips. Seven, eight, nine, dance in line. Oh, isn't this fun? <laughs> this dancing thing looks good. Yeah, maybe we should go. Yeah, they have sticky cakes and fizzy pop dances. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh hello, Pippa. Are you dancing to go ready? I mean, are you ready to go dancing? <laughs> oh, Pippa, what's the matter? Dad's taking you to the dance and I've got no one to go with. Oh. No, no, Pippa. Stan's not taking me to the dance. He's practising with me so that he can take you to the dance. Really? The <laughs> only reason I didn't want to go is because I can't dance. <sighs> There's only one thing for it. Oh, here comes the painful bit. <laughs> no, it won't be. Right. Wizardy wriggle, bounce and prance. Give us some rhythm to help us. One, two, 
three. Old Bear's coming, ready or not. Next. As part of your nutritious breakfast, <laughs> Kellogg's Honey Nut Loops now taste even better, don't they? Yeah! the rock festival Glastonbury and you would have loved it relax if you have aerial future independent tests prove it removes significantly more stains than ever before of course in my day things were different yeah right we didn't wear any clothes relax Ariel will get it clean. Cheers! You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cool to rule my world. In no particular sign, I'm open back to the wheel. I just want your extra time and your... Yes. Hello, you can collect these budgie sticker comics and make your own stories with Kellogg's Honey Nut Loops. This afternoon on CITV, an audience with His Royal Majesty, Bugs Bunny. After that, there's something very funny going on. Not really quite sure what to make of all that. It's the Animaniacs. And in the middle of our cartoon sandwich, the Avenger Penguins meet the wicked Misdemeanor. First of all, though, eyes front for Old Bear. <laughs> 